PKR Deputy President Rafizi Ramli said he and the party's candidate selection committee wanted incumbent MP R. Sivarasa to defend his Sungai Buloh seat in GE15. However, PKR President Anwar Ibrahim had a different opinion. Saya juga boleh maklumkan bahawa memang ada perbezaan pendapat di antara jawatan kuasa calon dan saya dengan pandangan presiden kerana saya boleh umum terus bahawa saya dan jawatan kuasa calon mencadangkan supaya saudara Sivarasa dikekalkan tetapi presiden parti ada pandangan yang berbeza dan saya menghormati pandangan dan budi bicara tersebut kerana memang kuasa untuk menetapkan calon ialah kuasa presiden dalam mana-mana parti pun. PKR had previously announced it would field its deputy information chief R. Ramanan for Sungai Buloh. Ramanan was the MIC Treasurer General before this but stepped down in 2014 after the Kuala Lumpur High Court instructed him to return 5.5 million ringgit he obtained through fraud. At the time, he reportedly said he was appealing the decision and was willing to pay the amount to the plaintiff. In June 2014, Ramanan dropped his appeal against the judgment and entered a consent judgment with the plaintiff where he agreed to pay the 5.5 million ringgit. The announcement of Ramanan as the Sungai Bulo candidate prompted backlash from constituents. They urged for a different candidate or to retain Sivarasa, especially after BN announced Kari Jamaluddin as their candidate. Rafizi said after considering the feedback they received, PKR has decided to continue with Ramanan as their Sungai Bulo candidate. As far as Rafizi is concerned, the eternal process within the party in reviewing their candidates has been exhausted.